Hi guys, it is time for Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger. I think. And Holly Auger. And Holly Auger. And uh, I think we're on episode 67 or 68? 68. 68, I think. Okay. Uh, today we are talking about, well, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to tell you about what I'm making for dinner tonight. And then and show them the new update. A new update. There's a new update. Oh, I'll show you my new toy. Okay, so we got three <laughs> things. I'm going to talk to you about what I'm making for dinner tonight. And then um, I'll show you my new toy. So for those of you who are going to listen to this on, um, hey friend, um, I'm, I'm doing this live, you guys. This is a, I'm going to start doing this. Um, that way I get some interaction and some questions. If you guys have questions during it, it'll just make my podcast even better, right? Anyway, so uh, for those of you who are listening to the podcast, you'll have to check in on my social media to see the pictures of the new toy. The new toy. It's not a new toy. <clears throat> it's a new toy. You can literally and see then, it. You can see well, it. Well, I will move the camera. Please stop yelling. You can see it right there. Okay, well, yeah. I will talk about it. Chill out, please. Um, And then I'm going to talk to you about some options for Meatless Mondays. Uh, which really can be meatless any day Even of the week. Tuesday. We are not going meatless today, but on many Mondays we do. And um, I try to keep it varied and I try to um, do it a couple times a week, even if it's just at lunch, if it's just me, just because you want to vary your protein sources because that's good for you. Um, so let's get to dinner. Tonight I am making tortellini. Which Again. really, I'm not making tortellini because I just buy it pre-made. Because Again. I'm, I'm not going to make pasta. Yeah, we're having tortellini again. Yeah. I know we had it this weekend, but I when we had it this weekend, I had already planned on having it tonight. So we're having it again. Yeah. Yes, love. What about what? You're going outside. Okay, go, go outside. All right. So we are doing. Spinach tortellini from Trader Joe's, of course. And um, I am literally just going to warm this up and then um, separate out a good portion of it uh, because someone who just went outside does not like sauce. So um, I'm going to make, I'm going to start with this marinara sauce because it's the only one from Trader Joe's that does not have canola oil in it. It has olive oil in it, which is amazing. So um, I'm going to put a small saute pan on the stove and I'm going to put some pre-cooked tortellini in it and warm up the sauce with the tortellini for me and my uh, husband. And then I'm going to um, top that with some just chopped fresh tomatoes so that it's yummy and delicious and I will probably add some garlic to this and um, probably red pepper flakes as well and maybe some, uh, no not parmesan, uh, just red pepper flakes. So um, just to beef it up a little bit, it's a little bit on the plain side but it's really good. Hey friend! Um, and then on the side we are going to do a Brussels in zucchini bake, uh, a roasted um, salad, warm salad thing. Um, I'm going to do Parmesan cheese. I'm going to chop up the zucchini really small. I'm going to throw in some um, bacon grease because Brussels with bacon is amazing, amazing. So I'm going to do that and then um, just serve it on the side with some Parmesan on top. Um, I'm also going to use balsamic and 21 seasoning salute, which is an Italian seasoning from Trader Joe's. Um, and then I am going to have some shrimp with mine. Um, and I'm going to chop up a um, a sausage and some leftover steak for the hubby. And that's going to go on top of the warm salad. So we'll have the pasta and the salad and it'll be delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Uh, and that is our dinner tonight. So two veggies, a carb, some lean protein, um, and uh, healthy fat in the olive oil and that's in the sauce and in the... Um, bacon grease that I'm going to cook the Brussels in. So there's some meal math for you. Um, <clears throat> I could totally make this vegetarian and um, there's lots of ways that I could totally do that. Um, 
One really yummy way is actually to warm up some white beans and puree those and put the sauce in those. And um, the white beans act as two things, one, a protein, and then two, as a thickener for the sauce. And it makes it really creamy and yummy. And that is a really good way to add in creaminess to any anything that's liquidy, um, soups and sauces and whatever, without adding... Um, dairy or cheese or something like that um, that's going to add extra fat if that's not the fat that you want to cook with because you know there's lots okay so there are two sources of protein that are plant-based that I really tend to just ignore they have really good amounts of protein they are like a powerhouse and every once in a while it's cool to have them it depends on how they're prepared make sure you get them organic if you're going to eat them, but that would be tofu and seitan. Just because um, because they're soy, and there's so much GMO with soy, you have to be really, really careful with it, um, and then you really wanna watch your portions on it. So I just tend to just ignore it. Plus, I don't really like tofu. It's a texture thing for me. I'm not a huge fan, but lots of people are. Um, but you just don't want to have too much soy in your system because it really messes with your hormones, male and female. It's just like crazy town. Um, the one source of soy that's actually really good for you that you can find organic in many places, especially if you get the whole bean, is um, edamame. And again, you still, because it's soy, want to make sure that you're doing portions on it, that you're not eating it like every day. But, you know once a week is really great. Um, it's a good source and you can find the organic, uh, pretty easily. So that's really good. Um, the next three that, uh, come up often are lentils, chickpeas, and other beans, and then nutritional yeast. I know lots of people know about lentils and the chickpeas and lots of beans, but if you haven't tried nutritional yeast, it is a, a bit of a powerhouse as far as plant protein goes, and it also tastes like Parmesan cheese. So it's a really, really great go-to as something you sprinkle on um, or create a sauce with, and um, and it's flaky too. So like if you put it on top of you of like a a salad or something, it looks like Parmesan cheese, and it has that slight salt to it. Um, that's totally natural. It's not added. Um, Bob's so Red Mill because Nay's waving to us. Bob's Red Mill makes a really good one. Um, so does Trader Joe's, of course. Um, but there's lots of brands that do it. So just get the one that fits in your budget and go for it. It's really, really awesome. Um, I was really surprised when I tried it. The next few are Spelt and Teff, um, and then Hemp Seed and Green Peas. And these are going in order of amounts of protein. So once we get down to like the next one, spirulina and quinoa. There's not a ton, but it's all in there. And if you're mixing things to make your meal, you're getting a little bit of protein in every single thing that you're eating. So know that it doesn't have to be just a piece of chicken or an egg or whatever. You can have your protein add up to itself within your meal. So if you have a, a meal that is chickpeas and quinoa, that is a really great source of protein because you're getting uh, different proteins from both from each one right and then they're adding up to more protein so you can totally do that and then of course the one thing that's on, not on here is cheese because that's um, animal based but if you are not vegan and you still want something that's protein that's not meat cheese and other dairies are a really really great um, option for you um, but be careful of the fat content so you know portions that's it um, okay, so going down this list as spirulina, amaranth, and quinoa, and then oats come after that, and then rice, and not white rice, wild and brown rice, right? Uh, which I actually really like black rice, which is the best rice for you for other reasons, but um, it's really has like a deeper texture and a better taste, I think, like a nutty flavor almost. Um, and then chia seeds and then nuts after that. Um, and of course, you want to start with something that's high on that list and then combine with other things that are on the list to make more protein in your meal. Um, and then there's even some veggies that have higher content of protein than others. These obviously don't have as much as the like spelt and teff and nutritional yeast, but they're really great to include. And that would be broccoli, spinach, asparagus, artichokes, and Brussels. Yay. Brussels. We're having Brussels tonight. But, um, 
I usually, I really like artichokes like on my pizza, on my vegetarian pizza, because I know that they have a little bit of protein um, and then they're just yummy. So I hope that that list helps. I will put um, a link to it in the email that I send out too. So you guys have it as a reference list. Okay, so for the rest of your week. Um, this is my new toy. Yay, that's my new toy. Isn't that cool? It is a fan and a really small but powerful microwave. It works so fast. Oh my gosh, you guys, so fast. Um, I will show you my stove. Uh, everything's sort of set up to make dinner. Um, but that's it, you guys. I got a new microwave. And it's going to save a bunch of counter space, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and that's it. So go make some happy, healthy meals. I want to see what y'all are cooking. So leave a comment here in the Facebook group or uh, reply to the email that you read or uh, just shoot me a message. Check me out on social media. See what I come up with in my dinner tonight. So uh, that's it. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for listening.